So the Massachusetts Archives is the designated repository for permanent state government records in the state of Massachusetts. We're a division of the Secretary of the Commonwealth, and our mission is to secure, manage, preserve, and make accessible the permanent state records um, documenting government. So our holdings date from 1629, actually with the Great Charter of King Charles I, which established the Massachusetts Bay Colony in the area, all the way to the present. We currently are managing about three terabytes of digital records, um, which totals about 329,000 individual files. With digital records, there are a number of considerations at play uh, that make the management of them more complex. So for example, you need intervening technology, software and hardware that can become obsolete over time. You have a proliferation of file formats that can also become obsolete over time um, or proprietary that have software dependencies. And so it is really important that we have mechanisms and a system in place for us to be able to manage these different characteristics of digital information in order to preserve it over the long term and our digital preservation system accomplishes all of that for us. Having a way to ensure that they're reliable, trustworthy, in perpetuity essentially, really enables us to work with the agencies to say, we now have this capacity, we're here to provide you a service and work with you directly so that you can transfer these records that are maybe living in databases or in legacy systems and bring them over to the archives. So it really has given us kind of a way to re-engage with agencies that maybe we haven't been receiving transfers as much from because we can say, look, we have this capability now, we can work with you directly, we'll manage it, you can still access them. So it really is great to have this all centralized. It makes it easier for the public to just kind of have a user expectation of going to one place and searching for things and, and expecting to find um, everything living in, in one environment. We provide access to a number of different kinds of records. I would say the records that get the most use have a, a genealogical um, spin to them, so to speak. So we deal a lot with vital records, for example, that would be deaths, marriages, births uh, registered in the state. And our reference staff often, I would say 80% of their time is spent working with the public um, to research these records. We have undergone a, an extensive digitization pro process so that we can actually put them up online and help researchers look for these independently so that reference staff can then use their time towards more in-depth re reference requests for other records that we have at the archives.